What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Lothix and welcome back today to Stardew Valley. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today is Friday the 12th of winter here in year two and for once it's not snowing. Oh my goodness, we can actually see our lovely Ronald Farms. It's amazing. How is everyone doing? I hope you are good. Uh, today I've got a few plans. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of cutscene chasing um, because we've been working on our characters for quite some time now and uh, we've got a few which i actually do really want to see uh mainly the first one that we want to see is the maru 6 heart cutscene uh which i think we need to wait until later on in the day in order to do this however at the end of last episode as hopefully you guys have seen that one um we actually managed to well we spent 200 large no 200,000 large on a furniture catalog for the house so i've been busy I've started the redesign of our house, and I haven't finished it just yet, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> there's so much choice. Oh, if I run out of space? Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, there's so much choice for, like, furniture and customization and stuff that, um, yeah, it takes a long, long time, especially because I'm super, super picky, um, to actually, like, choose what I want to have. Uh, but I've done two rooms, so we're going to go on a little tour here to begin with. Are you ready? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so what I decided to do is I decided to try and theme the rooms. So each one of these rooms is like a different theme. So I've gone with like a living room and kitchen and I've tried to do it in sort of like a jungle type theme. So lots of woods and green plants and green furniture and tiki totems and that kind of thing. Uh, and yeah, this is what we've done so far in this one. So I've kind of like changed the, the color of the floor. So it's all kind of the same color. So it's not like the tiles in the kitchen. I've got these tree stump thingamajigs, which are amazing. Uh, loads and loads of plants everywhere. I mean, there's a little bit of a gap here, uh, which I do want to fill at some point. But I've kind of gone with the, the jungle theme for this room, which I think looks quite fancy. And I was thinking to myself, when we mar marry Abigail, right, she's going to move into the house. And she does sleep in the same bedroom. So... Abigail is kind of, she's a slightly spooky one. She likes Halloween and all that thing. So I thought I would do a spooky themed bedroom for Abigail. What do you guys think? I really like it. I think it looks awesome. So I've slightly changed like the, the wallpaper and stuff. I just think this one looks a little bit cooler. Um, but I've tried to make it like spooky. I've tried to go with lots of reds and purples. And the interesting thing is, is that the pillowcases match the purple theme, which I thought was kind of cool. So uh, yeah, this is what I've done so far. I've got this like spooky carpet. I've got the wizard's couch. I've got this Neolithic table here with a bonsai tree on. Um, what is this thing? Uh, I can't remember what the table's called. We've got these cool chairs. We've got a globe. We've got a gem. We've got another gem down here. It matches the carpet. Ah. <sighs> I'm actually really pleased with the bedroom. I think the bedroom looks super cool. Um, so here, like, here was what I was thinking. So we've done a spooky bedroom. We've done like a jungle and tiki themed kitchen diner. Now, I'm currently working on these two. As you can see, there's nothing really here. But I mean, with this furniture catalog, obviously everything is free because we have paid 200k for it. But there is so much choice. It's amazing. So what I was thinking is maybe I will theme this room. Don't know what to do with it just yet, but we could have like a like a chill out room or something. I was thinking about maybe doing like a desert theme for it. So we can kind of have like different elements of Stardew Valley. So, you know, you've got like the wizardy side, you've got like the trees and, and naturey side, you've got like the desert side to it. And then the kids' bedroom. Not too sure what I want to do with this, to be honest with you. Um we've got a few options for bits and pieces. We could just do like a super colourful kids' bedroom style thing. There's some really nice carpets and like there's things like this, like this puzzle table, which I think look uh, sort of quite kid friendly and stuff. You know what I mean? So I was kind of thinking maybe something along those lines. Um, but yeah, of course, we haven't actually fully upgraded the house yet. So once we do that, we'll have, I think, another room gets added to this side and then we'll also have the basement. So, yeah, we've got another thing that we can potentially do. Oh, yeah, this is interesting. You see this? This looks like a picture, right? It's not. It's it's a wallpaper slot. But because of the way that the game works, it basically, you can add any piece of wallpaper and it kind of looks like a picture. So I've just gone with some green stuff because I thought that was kind of cool. Um, so yeah, that's what I've done so far. I hope you guys like it. Um, 
and yeah, it's really, really cool. Like the, the, the base building and the customization stuff isn't really something that I've done too much with. I don't think we did it at all in our first like little Let's Play thing. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of happy with how it looks. I hope you guys like it too. Uh, if you have any suggestions for themes and stuff, then please do let me know. Uh, I was reading through a couple of comments and stuff on some of the recent Stardew Valley episodes. You guys cracked me up. <laughs> I went on one, and it was like every comment was like, Marry Abigail! I was like, oh no. I'm sorry, I promise we will, I will. I hear you guys, I see you guys, I promise, I promise. If you're out there right now, hello, my name is James. Love to see you. Alright, we got a Friday, so it's a traveling sales lady. What she got? Duck egg, coconut, sunflower seed, crab. Ooh! Asian seeds! Oh, I only get one? No! Are you kidding? I want more. I want more. I want more. I, oh. <laughs> Can you imagine if we could have just bought like 120 ancient seeds? That would have been so cool. Because obviously like we're slowly trying to um, like grow them. See, the cool thing about the ancient seeds, I think as compared to the sweet gem berries. Now we do need to get some sweet gem berries because obviously we want to give it to this fellow in this little um, foresty bit here. So we can get extra health and energy. But... Uh, I think the sweet gem berries grow every 120 days, but I don't think they re... No, they grow every 24 days, but I don't think they regenerate like the ancient fruit do. Because, you know, like the, the tree actually stays and then it's just like the berries grow. Um, so, yeah, I think it's probably better to go with the ancient ones just because like every... I don't know how many days. It might be every every seven days or every 13 days. I'm not sure. But they, like, regenerate their, their fruits so we can make it into wine, which is kind of, like, the, the goal to get lots and lots of money. But obviously, it takes a while to kind of regenerate them because, obviously, we have to plant them. We have to get the sweet gem berry. Uh, no, we have to get the ancient fruit seed, and then we have to put it in the seed maker. We have to generate extra seeds. There's a chance that we may not even actually get any from it. Uh, and then we have to slowly keep taking over our greenhouse to see if we can get the thing, like, fairly full. So anyway, cutscene chasing today. Uh, I've got a Maru cutscene that I really want to do. I don't think they've reset for the week yet. Uh, no, they haven't. A few people are a little bit tricky just because of the season right now. Uh, but I've done all of the ones that I can do. I need to give an emerald to Penny. Uh, but yeah, so I think with this Maru cutscene, it actually triggers... Oh. Oh, did I miss a spot? Oh, no! Well, I guess what I could do, actually. You know what? It's not worked out too badly because... Although it's going to look a bit messy for the time being. What I'll do is I'll just put an ancient seed there. And then, like, we'll try and do it row by row, maybe. But yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ancient seeds now. Whereas we started with one. So it's slow progress, but we're getting there eventually. We'll manage, we'll manage. I need some wood. I've got 77 wood. Hmm. Right, okay, so it is oh. Oh, this is not this is not the cutscene I was expecting. Uh-oh. Marnie, we can't. If word got out, it could, could undermine my position of authority in the town. Oh, no. You understand, don't you? You care too much about your job, Lewis. There are other things to life, you know. Oh, no. Oh, no. But, but yes, I understand. I guess we'll have to keep us a secret. Oh, lads, 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 lads. We've rumbled them. Finally. <laughs> we, we knew about this ages ago, I suppose, but... Yeah. Okay. James, you overheard everything, didn't you? Yes, and I'm going to tell everyone. No, 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 no. We'll keep it a secret. We'll keep it a secret. Thank you, James. I won't forget this. <laughs> As if we caught them. Oh, my goodness. Why were you hiding there anyway? Good question. I'm such a creeper in this game, dude. I'm, like, creeping around the backs of people's trucks. I'm, like, going into Pierre's bedroom. I'm... Strange. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, of course, we've known for quite a while that uh, Mayor Lewis and Marnie have been uh, seeing each other, I suppose. Because, do you remember that quest ages ago when we had, when we had to rescue Lewis's trousers from Marnie's house? <laughs> I think that's when we kind of realized that, um, you know, they were sort of coupling up and stuff. I think that's nice, though. They're both single. Well, well, that's not a big deal, is it? Yeah, Marnie doesn't have any... isn't an, Or is she in a relationship with... So I don't think she is. Is she? 
I know Lewis isn't. He's married to the job, you know what I mean? Oh my goodness me. Okay, so that wasn't the cutscene that I was expecting, but that's really cool. <laughs> so what we're doing is we're heading up to the mountain. So I think, hopefully, uh, we should be triggering, triggering a Maru cutscene. So this is the Maru Six Heart cutscene, and you need to do it in the mountain area uh, at night, basically. Um, so we've got the, I think the next one is the Ten Heart one or the Eight Heart one. The Ten Heart one is really cool, I think. Oh! Oh, I think this is it. Look at this. How cool is that? Whoa, okay. James, I'm surprised to see you here so late. The night sky looks amazing right now. Come over here. I want to show you something. Here, take a peek. Oh my goodness. So she's like into her astrology and all that kind of thing. And uh... Okay, what do you see? A beautiful planet. It's amazing, isn't it? By the time any of these stars have visited, you and I will be long gone. Oh, it's a bit of a buzzkill there, Mara, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I guess that's the trouble with being human, huh? It's very philosophical, it's philosophical late night telescoping here. James, um... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Never mind. We've got to be, we've got to stop being so gosh darn attractive to all the ladies. Oh, it's a burden to bear. Here, let me show you a binary star system. Okay. The thing I love about the cutscenes is that, you know, they're not just, some of them are just like the usual way that you see them, but some of them are like done in different art styles and stuff. This is why I wanted to do the Maru ones. Look how cool this is. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. What a beautiful night. Mara showed me something new. Well, there we go. We've done some stargazing. Um, That's the only reason I wanted to come up here. I actually thought we might have to go all the way to the top, but obviously not. I've actually been going around the map all of today looking for trees. I swear I have cut down every single tree. <laughs> I can't find any. I need to wait for them all to grow. Like, there is there is literally not a single fully grown tree, I don't think, in Stardew Valley right now. Uh, that I can cut down anyway. Unless there might be one on my farm. But other than that, absolutely nothing. I've gone crazy with my axe. But you, as you can see, we're so close to getting up to 10 wood cutting. So I really want to do that. But there we have it. So unexpected Lewis and Marnie cutscene. And we also saw the Maru cutscene for six hearts. The cool thing is, though is that with Maru anyway, we are, yeah, we're, we're seven hearts. So we're one heart away from the eight heart, and then we just got to give her a, a bouquet and then some gold, and then we can get to the ten heart cutscene, which I think is going to be a really cool one. Um, Yeah, we, we won't bother selling anything today. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so weird walking into my new house. Wait, do any of these, did I not put any lamps in this room? Oops. Uh, okay, it's really dark in the bedroom. I should get some lamps or something so I can I can put them in here. That might make life a bit easier to see. But we have finished the day. I just sold some foragey stuff. Nothing too special. Well, there we have it. So, what day is it today? Saturday? Is Saturday when the presents reset? Not sure. Um, no. Okay, never mind. So, I don't know what we're going to be doing today. Oh, we got a letter. Okay. What does it say? What does it say? What does it say? Ah! I've got another challenge for you. Catch me at Lincoln. Ah, oh, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered, Willie, to be honest with you. You're kind of bottom of my friendship pile right now. I've got other people to be friends with. All right, so it's, well, 6 a.m. Brand new day. It's snowy, though. I don't think we've got anything there. Are we making lovely preserves? Uh, we are. Look at that. Apple jelly and pomegranate jelly. So we're actually going to probably run out of fruits before this thing is finished, but obviously the fruits will start growing once again in the spring period, so we can stock those guys up. We do have some more cranberries. We got loads of hops, which we can sell to get more stuff. Um, awesome. Pretty cool. Here's just a random little thought here. So uh, yeah, I'm still on my farm, just not really doing too much today. Um, I'm kind of waiting for the, the, the friendship things to reset, but I was kind of thinking about this. I think it would be quite interesting because you know, we've got, like, the automation mod set up, and basically, you know, the, the, the bait traps, they take bait from the chest, 
and then they fill them up in these guys. I was wondering, because when we unlocked the last fishing skill, we actually got the recipe here for the worm bin. Now, this produces bait on a regular basis, and the worms are self-sufficient, so basically it's like an auto-bait generator. Now, the cool thing about it is that, obviously, you don't have to restock it with anything. The only problem is that it costs 50 fibre, and right now, because it's winter, there's, like, no weeds anywhere, so I, I don't really have much fibre. I think I've got, like, 20. But in theory, in theory, if it produces between 1 to 5 each day, and we have, you know, X amount of traps or whatever. So, for example, with this system here, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If we surrounded this by maybe three bait things, would it just constantly auto-generate and would it never, ever run out of bait? Because the bait produced from the bait parts will go to the chest and then the bait from the chest will go to the pots. Interesting. I really want to try that in the springtime. I think that would be really cool. I know it's just something a little bit silly, but obviously, you know, it's decent money. Just every now and again, you just get random things. You know, periwinkles, crabs, crayfish, broken glasses. 17 pairs of broken glasses. Who keeps dumping their broken glasses in my river? That's who I want to know. Who are the glasses wearers? Hmm? Who are you? Who are you guys? Who are you guys? Hmm? Who is it? Who is it? Pierre! Oh, Pierre! Pierre! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How do you even break 17 pairs of glasses? I t technically, though, Pierre gets in fistfights with other shopkeepers, so that's how his glasses break. <laughs> oh, dear me. All right, let me sell these. Uh, I don't think there's too much I want to do today. Um, on this day, anyway, because I'm just waiting for the trees to grow back. Still waiting for the trees to grow back, but it's Sunday tomorrow. I'll tell you what. We might just have a super early night. Let's go and see what the traveling sales lady sell uh, sells. I'm still looking for that rare seed. I want that rare seed. Okie dokies, come on, come on, give me that rare seed. What have we got? What have we got? We've got kale seeds, a wild horseradish, a cherry sapling. Uh, we've got fried eels, poppies. Actually, does someone really like fried eels? I think so. I'm going to take that. Uh, tuna, maki roll, melon, morel, jelly, dark rug, and a rare crow. Oh, man. Please give me that rare seed. I beg of you. I wonder if Krovis sells that. I don't think he does. Oh, that's super annoying. I mean, the thing is with all of these cool, like, furniture items, I've got them. Like, already, because I've got the furniture thing. Uh, alright, well, that's really annoying, isn't it? Maki rolls I can make myself. Ah, <sighs> unbelievable. We just need that one rare seed. That's all I want. It takes a while to grow, so I want to get that thing planted. That's super annoying. I'm still waiting for the trees to grow back. <laughs> Did they actually even grow in winter? I have no idea. I mean, they're kind of like, they're all about this size. Because I think I just cut them all down in one go. Still waiting. Maybe they don't even grow in winter. I feel like they do, but they actually might not. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I think for the rest of this episode, um, because it's the winter time and there isn't a whole lot that we can really do, I think it's just going to be a case of handing out presents. Um... So the day is reset once again, which is always good. Uh, actually, you know what? The wizard gave me jade in the post. I'm going to give it straight back to Emily. She's very, very strange. All right, there we go. This gift is fantastic. Hi. Okay, hello. Um, so, yeah, we're doing quite well with these guys, I guess. Um, so how are we doing? We've gone fives. We're on fives. We've got a couple of sixes. Uh, Maru is obviously, I think, the next one. Robin we still need to do up to ten. I think some people, they don't really like do much but I, I would like to try and get as many 10 hearts as possible i just think that would be pretty cool uh, okay cool awesome so i think where did these guys live uh oh is it someone's birthday today oh no way i wonder if i have anything for them not sure actually uh, i tell you what let's go to maru first i think she's like the more important one and demetrius of course we've got a big stack of ice creams which we could give him <laughs> because uh yeah why the heck not right um so okay let's go and head up here um I don't think there's anyone walking around. It's a Sunday. Like, I'm still, even two years in, trying to work out where people go every day. I mean, everyone moves in different places depending on what day it is and stuff. So, I swear there was, like, some secret in one of these. Oh, yeah, we still got to do two of those other secret statues. Oh, I completely forgot about those. We'll do those soon, I promise. We'll do those. We'll do those. Because I, I would like to get all three. We've got one. Um, but I haven't done the others. So we should, we should do those, shouldn't we? There we go. Okay, awesome. So we've done Robin. Let's go over to Demetrius. Let's give him an ice cream on a lovely winter's day. There we go. You're giving this to me. It's amazing. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, we're insulated from the rest of the world here in Stardew Valley. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it is. Uh, oh, and here's Maru. Ah, look. She's making robots. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. I've not seen her do that before. Amazing. Okay, uh, so what does she like? She likes gold. 
So let's go and give her gold. Boop. There we go. Oh, maybe, actually. Has she gone up to eight hearts? Please, 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 please. No! If she was up one more heart, we could give her a bouquet. But we can't. We're going to have to wait. Ah! Oh, I thought that could have been the one, you know? Oh, well. Well, maybe it'll be the next day that she'll go up to eight hearts, and then we can start seeing her cool cutscenes. Ah, oh, well, there we go. Oh! Oh, no, this isn't the exit. <laughs> I always think that looks like the exit. It does, doesn't it? Strange. All right, okay. So I think we're going to plot back to Ronald Farms here, and I think, unfortunately, that's probably going to be about it for today's episode. I know, like, there's not a whole lot we can do in the winter period just because there's, like, not very much to grow and stuff, but, uh, yeah, we're kind of, like, we're trying to make the most of it, especially with the cutscenes and stuff. Uh, and, yeah, I think we're doing all right doing too badly so yeah thank you very much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Oh, and i'll try and finish like the house for next episode so um yeah we'll see what we can do with like the themes and stuff there's only so much i can do with the furniture available but i don't know i'll see what i can do so i'll just i'll just give you one little look one little sneak peek again that's what we've done we've done jungle wood theme with tiki totems i might put some more stuff in here it's a little bit empty in the middle and then, of course, we have our super spooktacular bedroom, which I really like. I think it looks cool. <laughs> well, there we go. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it, because we do Stardew Valley done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rantia!